Hey there, today I am going to be answering a question that I see and hear all the time. How do I brand myself when building my personal brand feels like bragging? So we're gonna dig into that. And so let me just tell you who I am. I am Claire Bond. I am a personal brand strategist and I help people build compelling personal brands to increase their income, visibility, and credibility. So let's dig in to what it actually entails to build your personal brand. So if building your personal brand feels like bragging, you're probably doing it wrong. Let me explain. Basically, I mean, we've all seen it, right? Like, oh gosh, going on like, you know, Instagram and LinkedIn, you know, they're so like photo heavy, video heavy. And all you see is like, look at me. I'm awesome. Hey, I'm awesome. Yeah. Still here. And I'm still awesome. So annoying, right? So annoying. Really love that mute feature. Um, so what do you do in those, you know, if that is not what I mean by personal branding, because that if person obviously does not work with a really good strategist because they would highly advise against doing that because that's not great. So if it feels like bragging, you're probably doing it wrong. Now then how you can restructure building your personal brand. So basically building your personal brand is that you want to show up as an industry leader and a thought leader in your space. So if you're constantly just like, I'm awesome. Hey, it's me. Awesome guy or girl over here. That is not showing you, you that anybody that you are an authority in your space. It is just, that is bragging. So how do you show that you're an authority in your space? You share content that your world, <laughs> wherever it is, whether it's your, the people on Instagram or the people on LinkedIn or YouTube, which would be Google search. What are people searching for? What do people want to know the answers to? And how are you uniquely situated to help them? So that's essentially it. So if it feels like you're bragging, then just help people. There are people that want answers to questions. Um, I mean, precisely that is why I'm answering this because I see so many people going like, I hate these braggers <laughs> and guess what? So do I, so many people hate those braggers and I don't want you to be one of them. So share, I mean, and here's another thing I really hate when other like digital marketers go like share good content. You're like, really? Cause that was so easy to come up with. I mean, come on. So I'm not going to give you stupid tips like share good content, but you can really, I mean, there's so many ways to figure out keywords and things that people are actually searching for. But you know, I mean, the reason I came up with this was because I was literally scrolling through LinkedIn and I saw, I saw these braggers and I saw some of the comments going like, ew, unfollow and things like that. Like, <laughs> I mean, it really doesn't take much to really kind of figure out that this is a topic that I could talk about. So that is how you do it. You know, you either do keyword research or you kind of like dig in and kind of see what people are looking at, uh, what people are commenting on. And if there's something that you know that you can comment on, then get in there and talk about it, but provide value. Don't create good content, provide value. If people want a question to an answer, don't just tell them how they can buy your service to solve the problem. Give them an answer, help them. That means that sometimes you're going to have to give freebies. So get out there and tell people why you actually are an expert. The, you know, it's not one of those fake it till you make it kind of things. You actually have to be an expert and show your expertise before someone's actually going to believe you. So, cause that's ultimately what your personal brand does, right? I can do a Google research, do, you know, tons of research and figure out whether you actually are um, you know, an industry leader, do, are you, do you belong to clubs that verify that you're an industry leader? Have you been a speaker? Like there's all these things that I can do and find out about you. Have you had press like that actually show that you're an industry leader? So get out there and do that. So, but this is another thing that I want to put out there is I've recently done some blogs about imposter syndrome. I've been there. 
um, and limiting beliefs. Now, if those two things are holding you back, if those two things are making you feel like you're bragging, that is a whole other story and you definitely need to work on that. So I'm going to make sure that there, I share some links to those two blog posts so that you can take a look at them. If you are dealing with them, those are something you definitely need to, to work on, get rid of those limiting beliefs, you know, work on, maybe it's mantras. I mean, I do mantras in the morning, you know, this is going to be a great day and things like that so that I am pumped and ready for the day um, because I don't want those limiting beliefs in here and any leader that I know and I work with they don't let them in there either so those need to get out of there so if you're dealing with imposter syndrome do not worry it, it you know I lay out all the steps in a blog on how you can kind of prepare yourself so that you don't feel like you're an imposter so those are my tips if you feel like doing your personal brand and doing videos and things like that and sharing content on social media feels like you're bragging because you know what? Ultimately it's not. If you are truly helping people and providing valuable information and knowledge that you have like in here, if you don't ever share it, then what's the point? So get out there and share it. And, uh, you know, if you have any other questions about personal branding, I want to hear it. I want to answer it in my, in you know my next session so definitely get in there let me know what you are struggling with because you know i've either struggled with it my clients have struggled with it i know someone that struggled with it yet there's probably not a question i don't have an answer to if it relates to a personal brand um and probably entrepreneurship because that's also something i'm an expert in so you know there are no stupid questions let me know and uh i really hope this was valuable to you and I'll see you later. Bye.